Smiling Cheek and welcome to my easy piano lessons. Check out my website, webpianoteacher.com. have tons of videos on there for you to learn piano, lots of popular tunes as well as how to play by ear, and all kinds of cool stuff on my website. Uh, check me out on Facebook as well. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com and you'll find my fan page. Become a member of that and you can uh, be notified when I put up a new video and so forth. Um, let's get started here. Uh, we're going to have uh, a right hand here on an F, A, D. Now what I'm doing is the piano part here. But I also put up here the melody in case you want to know that. You say yes, I say no. Some people like to have the melody, I've been, been finding out. So uh, I'm going to try to include that with this. So you, can, you can't you can actually do all three together uh, easily. Um, I guess it could be done, but I've got it up there just for those of you who want the melody. But let's start with the piano part. We have F, A, D. So above middle C, F, A, D. And I've got an eight there. Eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we have a G octave in the left hand. You can play the G here, or you can play it really low. It's up to you. So, it doesn't really matter. I kind of like it low, I guess. Uh, G on the thumb, G on the pinky. But play the left hand just one time and hold it and then while the right hand's going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Alright? Um, next chord we have E, C, G. We have a C chord in first inversion. We're also going to do that eight times. But we're going to move the left hand to a C octave. Okay? C on the thumb, C on the pinky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So from the beginning we have you say yes. G octave, back to the low G octave if you want. You say, uh, you say stop tonight. Alright, so eight times. Left hand G octave, just holding. Now here it's different. I say go, go, go. I like to put the bass part in there. Uh, Paul McCartney does some really cool bass lines in these uh, Beatle tunes. A lot of people don't realize um, how much the bass line will add to a song. And uh, here we have a, G, a little scale, A, G, F, B, D, C, B, G. So we're starting on an A here. Here's middle C. So we're below this C. We're on A. We're just going to do a scale going down, a descending scale starting on A. A, G, F. Then I would come under with your thumb to do E, D, C, and then under again somewhere. B, and then A, and you end up on a G. So ba, 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 ba. Maybe, maybe do four. Go uh, one, two, three, four, and then under with your thumb. Would be the best way. Okay, but however you want to finger that is fine. One, two, three, four. Notice I play a right hand on each note of the scale, and that ends up being eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to get to here D, F, B, just like this chord here. The left hand is going to go on the bass line. Ba, 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 ba. Notice I did that two times. I put a two there because this box, this measure is two times. So G up to D, down to B, up to D. So ba, 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 ba. You may not be able to see the on the video this G, but it is a G. It's a low G. Up to D, down to B, up to D. Ba, 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 ba. Just so you can see, I'll move up to this octave. But you do it two times. You're going to play a chord with each one on the DFB. One, two, three. Okay, so it ends up being a total of eight times on that chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then the melody here, if you want to, just know, if you, those of you who want to know the melody, D, F, F, C, D, 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 G, A, C, C, E, G. And uh, a way you could do that if you you wanted, uh, I don't know, play the right hand here an octave lower, and then play, you know, make this the left hand, and then make this the right hand. You could go. And then you go back to the regular here. But that's what you could do. If you wanted to play the melody here in the right hand, you could make this part the left hand. You, you wouldn't be able to do this, you know, unless you had a third person. But uh, there it is. And when I do the rest of these lessons, um, the rest of them 
of the lessons for this song or are of course on my website webpianoteacher.com. I include the melody for the rest of it so you can have that and I try to, try to put all the instrumental parts that I can in there so you have as much as you can of, the, of this song in there. So there's part one. Hope you enjoy it.